Them, just to have an understanding like you got to be well-rounded man you got to be educated uh unfortunately dmac right now is going to educate us about some breaking news with the detroit red wings and this is a stunner man it is with a heavy heart but if these are the tough times when if we're going to be hashtag wiser plan then we got to stay on the hashtag wiser plan uh from daniela bruce the wonderful daniela bruce who does the uh in-house for the detroit red wings jeff blashell said bobby ryan has been released from his pto uh player tryout also said it was a tough call he's a good person no he's a great person and a great hockey player and hopefully he ends up on his feet no matter where he goes it's uh the numbers of moving forward i think that along you know different lines it's sort of like saying Saying goodbye, to, you know, goodbye to somebody would have been nice to see at work. But uh, best of luck to him. I know Tammy, uh, Tammy's crushed is along with a lot of other people. But uh, at the end of the day, Terry's this sort of tough, tough decisions have to be made and moving forward. So all I can say is, what do I think about it? Hashtag Wiser Plan. That's it. Move on. That, that is, you know, that can be a double-edged sword too. Like there, it, there it are going to be some is. moves when, when you're cleansing an organization. And I guess cleansing is, is a bit of a rough word. When you're rebuilding an organization, at some point you have to break eggs to make the omelet, man. And that, that's just the way it is. And, and there's going to be moves that aren't popular. And I know on our chat thread there, uh, it, it's not popular. But, Terry, that, that means you're getting somewhere, though. That, that is true. There's, there's going to be a stunner. you got to make a decision between younger guys with potential. And, you know, when you cleanse something... Uh, something popular or something productive, you're going to have to wash it, you know, to the side. And um, if it makes anybody here. feel any better, I believe that Bobby Ryan was released so Lucas Raymond could start the season. If that's the case, then that's the, that's what I'm expecting. So, um, you know, that like Terry said, but does, Terry, let me ask you this. This is a sign that there, that we want in any sport, any organization that we support the team because making the tough decisions means we can get move forward, right? Yeah, no, that is true. When you rebuild or retool or re whatever you want to call it, there is going to be a big name guy that you're gonna love, that people love, that people respect. Uh, I, you know, I call it collateral damage because. Um, you know, you got to move on at some point. Sports, you know, we always talk about loyalty in sports. There's no such thing. When you can produce and when you're a certain age, you're in there. At, cert at some point, no matter who you are, they're going to move on from you. It's happened to Wayne Gretzky. It's happened to Gordy Howell. It's happened to Darren McCarty. It's happened to everybody at some point is no longer needed or no longer wanted. That's just part of it. No, uh, it, it certainly is. And, uh, again, we'll see how things move forward uh, with the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, keep in mind, too, Thursday we'll have the, the big Red Wings blowout, the big Red Wings season preview. Uh, we'll, we'll take about an hour. We're going to go deep. Yeah, Matt. we're going to go through the roster, to, uh, see what it is, look, uh, what to look what to look forward to, what to the different thing. You know what? Uh it's it's I don't know if it's a five year the five year plan which we're in year three I believe um, but it may, it makes sort of sense but hashtag 2023 where the Red Wings are but the best thing is I I pretty much it's not what I think I think I know it but I'm not sure but they're going to be watchable and that's all I care about from players to team and the effort's going to be there so and for me they're going to be watchable with tons of cap space. Oh, that's the huge, you know. the, Neil. The, what do you say? They're 14 under the cap this year, but 45 yeah. under the cap a year from now or two years from now for 2023. You do oh, that is so valuable that it doesn't seem something because we're still in the ship in the middle of the ocean going across. We can't see the land yet, but when you see the land, it's a big land. It's a continent. <laughs> it's not just an island. It's not anything like that. It's a continent. No, it, it is, and. You know, for again, when you talk about this year's Red Wing team, which we'll get into in, in more depth on Thursday, big, big year for Mr. Dylan Larkin. Big, big year for Philippe Zadina. I mean, uh, and this plays into the whole Bobby Ryan thing. Like, I know people like the hope 
and everything like that. And I'm not being a hater, so save you know save those uh, messages in the thread. We're, you got to you got to show what you are. If you're the captain and you're Dylan Larkin, and I know everybody wants to feel good and say, hey, you know the future's coming and all that kind of stuff. At some point, Terry, you have to assume that role. You yeah, do. I'm, you got to be the guy. You got to be at least the second best player on the team. More than likely, the best team on there. Yeah, and, and, uh, leadership only goes so far. It's uh, you got to produce because if you don't, you know who's going to be on you. The the little fans who are talking about let's be positive, let's be positive. They'd be the first ones to turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but again though, DMac with Dylan Larkin, last year the deal, next year he'll be at a crossroads. Well, that's this organization thing. will be at a crossroads with him. Right, but that this is also too is so we have expectations. He has expectations, right. and you know, being healthy helps. I think that you know we see Dylan Larkin healthy at least skating because that speed is an issue again. And Terry's absolutely right. If he's your best or second best at the worst on the team, you're moving forward. So whether this team makes the playoffs or not. You have to see that, and you mentioned Zadina. There's a bunch of guys that you're looking to see, can they make that next step? Are we getting there? Are we getting closer? And I expect Dylan Larkin to have a big year, along with Philip Zadina. Right, and because that's where we are. We, we talk about the highway, right, the franchise highway. And, you know, you're leaving the rest stop, and different teams are different exits and everything like that. It's time for those two. It is because to me, Philip Zadina is the the face of the rebuild. Because we were told when he got drafted, and Terry, you you hear these lines. Oh, I can't believe they fell. Yeah, he fell to them. And, right. You know, I can't believe it. Well, it's time. And I know, I know, there's a limited, I guess, threshold of data with with Zadina. But is that fair to say he's he's kind of the face of this rebuild to me? Because that was the first like really super high draft pick. And we couldn't believe our good fortune when he fell. He could be. I I still think Mo Sider is the is the face of the rebuild, um, because this was, you know, you thought that Eisman was going to pick a forward or a high scoring forward, but he said no. You win with defense. You win by building from the goal crease on out. So, to me, I I view this guy is kind of the face and what what is he going to become and on the text line dan texts to us and he said i think today's cutting of ryan opened up the spot for valeno your take dmac okay so one of the young guys so <laughs> one of the i mean apples and oranges right now yeah. but valeno yeah okay so that there there it is but there's a guy that again the future different name but same concept Different name, same concept, because it's it's that body, it's that guy developing. We saw Joe Valeno, and he's earned you know he's earned that ice time being the guy that he's going to be. There's your third line center. I mean, in a perfect world, Dylan Larkin's your second line centerman. If you can get a top guy to be a top line centerman with minutes and stuff, that's if if you got Mo Sider on defense, you got you got Dylan Larkin as your second best centerman. Because look at Eiserman. Eiserman was second line centerman. Fedorov was first with the Russian five. So it's all about the leadership and being a two way player, putting up the points and, and leading the team and letting, not having to be the guy, but having the guys around him, like the Zadinas, like True, the Ravens. But all the guys couldn't just be another guy. Just yeah, don't was, be another. No, yeah, no. He can't be just another guy. He no, still had the, to be. Terry, it's a nut. But it's another guy with all the different intangibles, putting this, being the Stevie guy. Right, being the Stevie guy, not being the Sergey guy. We need he needs a Sergey guy. Being the Steve Eiserman guy, the leader, the sec that can play everything that you know when it came down to it's gonna do whatever it takes and can step up at that moment and be a first line guy when needed, but maintain second line status and points and stuff like that as far as expectations. Right. And for me it's bottom line, D Mac, because when you say be be an Eiserman guy, point a game. Yeah. You got to be a point. Let's just let's just be real. And uh, people say, "Well, stats don't tell the whole story." You got to be a point of game guy. I mean, without question. With the minutes it, and with the stuff and being the captain and stuff that that's not and whether that means in an 82 game season that you're 75 yeah, points. Yeah, 75 that's, that's, to 90. That's yeah. 75. You need to be a 70 point. You know, it's one of those things that that it's by committee too. So if everybody can add into the goal total and everybody's, you know, Zadina gets 20 goals, 
you know, that helps Larkin's cause also because yeah. he's probably feeding him right. the puck on the power play. You can't be a guy that when you speak to the room, everybody's rolling their eyes. They have to, you know, p- pay attention to you, believe, not all the time in what you're saying, but for the most part, be willing to follow you and not just say, okay, this clown is talking. I'm, I'm tuning him out. <laughs> Some reaction to the Anthony Ianni uh, interview. Uh, Dom Rivera says, that was an interesting guest. Let's bring it back to reality. Realize these athletes are people. You never really know what they're going through. Uh, Justin Spiro says his book is great. It's one of my favorite books of the five, last five, six years. It's half incredible life story, half amazing sports story. It's fantastic. Makes for a great Christmas gift coming up, too. Man, he, Justin should get a gig and... Uh, in book promotion, man, that's uh, <laughs> that's some pretty some pretty or, high praise. Or he uh, listens to Darren McCarty, who said the same thing. So, or Darren McCarty read <laughs> he's the same a good thing listener. Off of Justin's post, and he already read it. <laughs> okay, that could be it too. That could be it too. Uh, yeah. could be all of three. Yeah, I, I, both things can be true. Both things can be true.